Hey, peace and blessings, Shalom family. Hope you're having a good day. Um, just something that's been on my spirit, on my ruach, um, that the Most High brought to my attention. And I wanted to um, basically give, especially for the new awakened people, especially when you're first coming into the truth or if you've um, been in the truth for just a short amount of time, even if you've been in the truth for a long time, what I've noticed with what's happening with a lot of people in the awakening right now, I see a lot of people turning from the Messiah. I see a lot of people turning from the spirit of the Most High and, and, and the love of Christ, the love of the Messiah. You see, because when you start to awaken and you realize who you are, a lot of things that you thought were true that aren't true, you start to group those things with the things that were of truth before you were awakened, right? So for example, we understand a lot of the history with the Christian church and everything like that, um, and a lot of the falsehoods that are being taught in the doctrines. But, you know, when we look at that and we see how that was false, we like to couple that with um, things that were true as far as worshiping the Messiah, as far as uh, giving our heart to Christ, as far as worshiping, you know, praise and worship. You know, we, we, we tend to get out of those things because of uh, the sake of, you know what we've learned in, the, in in this knowledge and a lot of people are turning from the ways of the most high and a lot of people are 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 um hardening their hearts um if you will a lot of them are teaching doctrines of devils a lot of them are teaching false doctrines you know it's like it's all kind of doctrines that i've been seeing lately that's been springing up in this awakening and it's really deceiving people because people are getting so radical in their mentality that they're not realizing the reason why we went into bondage in the first place um you know when we think about when we went into bondage in the first place and the reasons why you'll start to see a lot of hebrews doing that same thing right now um especially with a lot of what's going on in these camps and things like that and not all camps of course but a lot of things you see with these camps being on street corners um and and, and just preaching hate speech when that's not that's not the spirit of the most high it's it's see this awakening it's meant to give us identity but it's not meant to make us look down on other races of people just because they aren't Hebrew by bloodline because truth be told you have some righteous Gentiles who are going to make it into the kingdom and you're, and you're going to have some wicked Hebrews who are not going to make it into the kingdom and that's just the truth of the matter but one thing I noticed is that in my awakening too I became so obsessed with learning and knowledge that I forgot that Christ is the center of it all the Messiah is the center of it all he it is through him that we are able to get to the father and we're forgetting that we're, we see see we're learning the name of the most high yeah we're learning the name of yahuwah you know we're we're, we're learning um, we're reading about him we're learning how good he is calling on the name of yahuwah but we're not we're not um realizing it is through yeshua that we are able to come to yahuwah it is through the blood you know we're not we're not we're not professing the blood we're not um having the love of the messiah in our heart we're not loving um our brethren we're not uh praising and worshiping them we're not uh, uh recognizing yeshua yahusha as our king like we're supposed to be because we see how the christians have created an idol of jesus and we're equating that, you know, to our awakening. And, and, and But we're not realizing that the Messiah is still our king. He's still our Lord. He's still our master. He's still our Adonai. You know, of course, the, the Trinity doctrine is not true. But that doesn't take the fact of the position of Yahusha, of Yeshua. He is seated at the right hand of the Most High. Meaning, if you ever um, do a, a, a study of, of ancient kingdoms, the person who was seated at the right hand of the king or, or the ruler was, he had the same authority as the ruler. He was the right hand man. He was, he was the um, second in charge of the whole kingdom, pretty much. 
So just, it's, and it's just like that with Yeshua. He is the son of the most high. He is the son of the most high. He came so that we may have salvation. He is Yah's salvation. And we have to, we have to praise him and worship him and honor him. And it is through him that we are able to get to the Father. He's the truth, the way, and the light. He's the word made flesh. Yeshua is the word made flesh. He's the Torah made flesh. Just like, just like, um, and another thing, we're teaching to keep the law by the letter of the law. But, it, but we're not teaching to keep the law by the spirit. See, here's the thing, right? We, the law is not done away with, right? Christ, Christ came and he, he, he kept the law perfectly and he was the law made flesh right he was the law made flesh so if we're following christ we're following the law right so christ is the is, is the law and we're following him and he's charging us to follow it in spirit so by following the law in the spirit when christ says i know it is written that um you should not commit adultery but i tell you that if you even look at a woman in lust you've committed adultery in your heart right so when we keep we, we when we keep the law in our heart, inevitably we're gonna keep it in our flesh. You see what I'm saying? And that's what people are are, re are not realizing. They're teaching to keep the letter of the law, but when you keep the letter of the law, you're not keeping the law in your heart. You're only keeping it to check off a box. Christ, Christ, and and this goes for Christians too. This goes for Christians too, because they think. Um, that the law was done away with and that we don't have to keep a law But actually Christ gives us a, 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 a even higher command to keep the law in our heart And that's way harder than keeping the letter of the law Way harder than keeping the letter of the law You see what I'm saying? It's hard not to look at a woman and lust after her It's hard not to hate your brother in your heart But when you, when you, when you work on your heart and in your spirit, right? Then that's, that's what's pleasing So, so it's not about just keeping the letter of the law. It's about keeping the law in our hearts first. Seek it. So when we when we're reading the Torah, we we don't we're not just seeking for physical circumcision. We're seeking for circumcision in our heart. And guess what? When we're circumcising our heart, it's going to want to make us get circumcised in our flesh because every time we look at our member and we see that it's circumcised, we remember, we 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 reflect on our heart being circumcised. Right? The, the the way the things of the law were meant they were meant to be kept in our hearts so whenever we sacrificed an animal whenever we sacrificed the bullock or whenever we sacrificed the lamb that was blameless we were supposed to in our heart look at that lamb that we're sacrificing and understand something innocent had to die because we sinned so that was supposed to do something in our hearts it wasn't just see, but they made it. They made it. Our ancestors made it a um, a, a a a a thing to be kept, a tradition almost, if you will. They made it a, a ritual, a routine, a religion. And when we made it a religion, we t our hearts turned away from the Most High, because you know what we we just realized, hey, when we sin, we just gonna have to go and sacrifice these animals, and 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 you know we'll be it, that'll atone for our sins. You know, that's what they were thinking. But that's why the most high said obedience is better than sacrifice. See, when, when we start getting, that's why that's why after a while our sacrifices started to become uh, uh, of no effect to the most high. And they were they weren't and the most high wasn't pleased by our offerings after a certain amount of time because he realized that our hearts had turned away from him. He realized our hearts turned away from him. That's why he said obedience is better than sacrifice. Just obey me. I don't I don't care about the sacrifices. Just obey me. Because when we get in the, in the routine of sacrificing, then we feel like we can sin and we can get atoned for. But our hearts are not changed. Our heart has to change. So be careful in this in this in this uh, day and age. Um, you know, especially online. You know, with te people who are teaching in this awakening, because a lot of people they're not teaching you to properly worship the Messiah, properly worship the Most High, and they're not teaching you to change your heart. They're not teaching you to they're not charging you to keep the law in your heart first because as a byproduct when you keep it in your heart as a byproduct you're going to keep it in your flesh because you love the most high that much whenever something is done in the heart it's going to just like things it, it, he says 
whatever should be bound in heaven shall be bound on earth whatever's loosed in heaven is loosed in the earth it's the same thing whatever is changed in our heart is going to change in our flesh so when we circ when our heart is circumcised and we realize we realize that hey we have to get circumcised you know our, our, our we have to do according to the ways that the most high spake you know what I'm saying? We realize that when we um when we when we when we say we're not going to commit adultery, we're not going to commit it with our eyes neither. Because guess what? That leads into pornography. Because we can look at pornography as hey, well, I'm not cheating on my wife with another woman. But 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 you are in your heart though. You're not physically, but you're cheating on her in your heart or him in your heart. You know, wives too. This goes for you too. When you looking when you're looking at pornography and you're looking at another man. And you're being sexually aroused by that that's just as worse as cheating physically so we have to keep keep the law in our heart we have to get the word in our heart and 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 as a byproduct we're gonna keep it in the flesh but be careful and do not be deceived there's a lot of false teachers you shouldn't be getting majority of your um of your of your of your um your word off of youtube from preachers from teachers you should be getting majority of your word through the word from actually reading the word stop being dependent on man to teach you things stop 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 following every doctrine you got doctrines now people teaching um you can't eat meat because it's all about the original diet that the most high gave to adam not realizing that first off the covenant that we're in is israelites the covenant we're in is the torah that the most high gave moses and in that torah it's told us the, the the meats that we can and can't eat it told us it told us the clean and unclean foods so even if he gave that to adam what covenant are we under because guess what adam fell adam sinned and guess what noah was given a, a dietary law as well that they were permitted to eat any and everything so and i understand people saying well you know they got their arguments of why plant-based might be better for you and all that and i'm not here to argue i'm not here to argue as far as what's healthy and what's not but what i'm here to argue is you can't make a doctrine based off of something that is not in torah that is not in torah because guess what if that's the case then why when christ came why was why was he okay with those around him eating fish or eating lamb during passover why was he okay with that why did he multiply the fish and the bread among the, among the people that were following him? Why why would he do that if it's if it's unclean to eat meat? If it's not okay to eat meat? See, we we have to we have to get out of this taking every doctrine that comes and being swayed by every single thing that somebody says because it has some truth in it. That's the thing. Things have some truth, but don't forget. You know where there's some truth there's also some lie we have to we have to seek out the full truth and the full truth is only in the word of the most high the full truth is only in the word of the most high get up get off of, get off of youtube all the time get on your knees and pray and get in the word of the most high get in the word of the most high be careful because people will lead you to hell because you think you're coming in the truth but you're really being deceived as well see the enemy is in is in Christianity and he's in the Hebrew awakening. Because that's his job to steal, kill, and destroy and to deceive. Be careful. Don't fall into the wiles of the enemy. Don't fall into them. And, 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 and when you see somebody teaching the falsehood, although it's wrapped in truth, go to the word. Go to the word. Let the word let, let every man be held up against the word and not the other way around. Not the other way around. Let every man be held up against the word. Because the word doesn't lie. The word doesn't lie at all. At all. Get in the word. Get in the word. Open your Bible and read from Genesis to Revelation. And continue to do that. And pray and ask the most how to reveal the things, the things that, that, that are hard to be understood. Ask him to reveal them to you. You don't have to have a man. But that, and that's not to say don't listen to peop, uh, people on YouTube. Because guess what? I listen to people on YouTube. Because guess what? I have enough discernment because I have enough word in me to realize what's being what's 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 being taught. Is it true or is it false? Or is it a little bit of lies mixed with a lot of truth or a lot of lies mixed with a little bit of truth? 
I'm able to discern. And guess what? Sometimes I'm not able to discern. And that's when the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, will come in. And, 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 and uh, my Ruach will be troubled. My Ruach will be convicted. And I'll go to the Word. But the Word should be your bread. The Word should be your bread. But um, with that being said, I just want to say peace and shalom. Hope y'all have a good day. Good night. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is where you at.